How can we refactor safely? A team can't refactor unless they have a lot of confidence that their changes won't alter existing behavior. And the only way to know that is to have a comprehensive and very fast test suite. I call this test suite the safety net because that's essentially what it is. It's protecting the software developers from breaking their own product. In order to build and maintain this safety net of fast tests, a team needs to be doing either one of two things, uh, test-driven development or behavior-driven development. These practices are often called test-first practices because we write a single test scenario and we work to get that working before we move on to writing another test, one test at a time, or one scenario at a time in the case of behavior-driven development. Folks always ask me why the team can't write the tests after coding. Also, it's probably a topic for another day, but for now, suffice it to say that because they usually don't, uh, when teams put off testing until after they're done, they usually run into a time crunch and testing suffers. Uh, besides, if the costs are equal between test first and test after, then what difference does it really make to the team? Might as well do them first. And it's, it's far more subtle than that. Uh, there are advantages to test first approaches because they're actually, uh, they're sort of a thought process. We have to decide what it is that we want our software to do. And instead of just deciding and then telling it how to do it, we actually describe what it is that we want to happen before we create the software that completes that. So whereas refactoring is the core solution, test-driven development and behavior-driven development are the core activities of a smoothly running agile software team. These practices become the means by which any ambiguities in what we've been asked to build get refined into discrete and concrete scenarios. Every high-performing Agile software team that I've ever encountered spends most of their day doing one or both of these. Test first includes testing, sure, obviously, uh, but also incremental design through refactoring and just-in-time analysis, that is, thinking about what is needed and what is not. The team is continuously growing the product increment and the safety net around it so that further enhancements and refactorings can happen swiftly and confidently. And that's where we regain the amount of uh, 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 time that we're spending doing these new practices. Now, it does still sound expensive, right? Up front, perhaps, uh, and perhaps about for a month. And, uh, but the savings, the cost savings and cost of rework and the ability to adapt to changing market conditions, those things are priceless.